going to give you a mental emergency. <laughs> I'm going to help you conquer one. I got a mental emergency just sitting here, girl. Yeah, help no, me. See, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. That's what I always say. However, talking about that, a grudge match such as this one. It's President Clinton in a grudge match against special prosecutor Kenneth Starr. Clinton is definitely looking for first blood. <laughs> That's for ruining my presidency. <laughs> That's for ruining my marriage. <laughs> That's for ruining my chances of hiring any more cute interns. Well, I wonder if I did. Does Bill Clinton and Kenneth Starr bury the hatchet? Probably not, but that's a different story. However, grudges do come in all sizes and shapes and forms. It can be a friend not paying you back, the money you lent them. It can be a co-worker throwing you under the bus. It can even be your co-host sitting right next to you and her body language is completely turned away from you. Did However, you notice? Did you notice? Did you However, tell? But believe it or not, there can be a positive aspect of grudges because when you experience a grudge, that negative emotion in your stomach, a disappointment, a frustration, feeling rejected by your co-host <laughs> or some I other... You. You're oh, feeling some... very sensitive today, <laughs> yeah. Patrick. Don't let my red dress distract you. It's okay. <laughs> I'm trying not to. But, however, you can use a grudge as a way to gauge the other person's limitations and adjust your own behaviour, such as me. So, for example, we've got to understand that a grudge is a resentment. It, it can be a very negative thing. But if you talk to the person and say, like, we, we have a like challenge here, that. we have a challenge... <laughs> Another the person say, might say, look, this is who I am, I'm not willing to change. I have to accept your limitations, right? Within me, I'm also going to set my own limitations and say, this is my emotional distance. I'm not going to get so close because I know that Morgan doesn't really love me that much. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. So, so let me guess, it starts with Yourself. opening up the conversation, right? Yeah, open up the conversation, become aware of the other person's limitations, set your own limitations, establish your own emotional distance, and develop emotional intelligence. That means you have to become aware of your own emotions, the and emotions of the other person. Right. Okay. And then finally, as I said, create that emotional distance. Yeah. Well, are we better now? You mean we weren't good before? <laughs> no, no, apparently not. Right. According to your segment, we, we weren't very good. Yeah, and we established we were... that you were in the Oreo, so, you what know. What is that on the Oreo? What is You're that? the cream in the middle of You're the chocolate cookies, You're the cream cookies, of the honey? chocolate cookies. Come oh. on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now well, that kind of Oreo I like. I don't know. I thought you were talking about some other mental thing. Bam. Oh, right. no. <laughs> this is my favorite part of the show, yes or no. Okay, I'm going to throw out a couple of topics, and we'll answer yes or no and discuss each one individually. going on a date together? Individually. You're upside down. That would be enough. The, uh, <laughs> the first one, can you be a friends with your boss? Yes or no? Well, what do you mean by friendship? Oh, I say no. quit thinking too much. No, yeah, let's answer. not make it a, that deep. It's, yes, you can you be, be friends with your, you have to be friends you, with your think, boss. You want him to give you a rise. Uh, I, I, think you, I think you can be friends, but you have to have appropriate boundaries. And I think everything is about balance and boundaries. Yes. Our boss We're is in here. Should I put up my yes sign? <laughs> well, yeah, and the fact that our boss is literally standing <laughs> Maybe right there. Maybe I should have yeah. put up my yes. <laughs> okay, I got, the, I got the green light for no, so okay. Uh, can you be friends with your ex? Yes. I say yes. Yes. Why do you think yes, sir? Yes, I'm actually friends with my ex, and you know I just got a divorce, and you know it was tough, but That's you tough. know you have to make sure that you're able to be mature. Right. You know, stuff... Stuff happens. I was going to say something else. <laughs> Stuff happens. And you have to, sometimes yeah. you don't want to be friends with them anymore if they've done something that you might have forgiven them for, but you don't believe that yeah, they're And forgiveness to does not necessarily mean no, reconciliation. reconciliation. Right. right. I, right. I say that. no because I think there's just too much water under the bridge. Really? Okay. okay. You think it's history? It should be it let go? Yeah. I don't know. I think you just have to be careful. Thank you. It's just very hot in here. I agree. <laughs> Sorry, I agree. Me. No, I think you just have to be careful because I know some of my male friends are just a little bit flirty. Hot for you. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. They fan me too. Yeah. So I mean, you just have to, <laughs> there you go. You know what I mean? I think, like you said, boundaries are important. Yeah. Okay. Um, next one. Will you be watching Lindsay Lohan's reality show on Oprah's own network? Nuts. I don't think can so. I get, can I get four? I'm not watching yes. it. No, no. <laughs> N-O. Why? Put that down. That's a no. No, she meant what she said. That is a yes. Yes, I'll be no, watching. No. encouraging bad behavior. I'm not That's encouraging it, anything. So I am I'm not in the girl's hands face with a can of Coke. All I'm, I'm saying is... I like, I want to be entertained. Oprah's documenting her post rehab story. Oprah's just I want to cashing see. in. Don't give her that. Credit. I have so little interest in that. I can't even express <laughs> how little. I'm little definitely not it wasting is. my time. So, okay, it's next a, question. No. I like watching. Hey, Lindsay. Okay, um, <laughs> let's talk about this. There's a, a group called Tattooed, and they have a sleeved 
t-shirt for tots that looks like tattoos. I think we have a picture That's of it. those for children. Would you let your kids wear these? Do you agree with these? Yes. No, no I because they're yes. not animals. I don't want to brand yeah. them. Oh, God. Okay, yes. I don't so know. My brother, I, know I have one. to tell they're you. They're not my, animals. My brother is a tattoo artist, oh. so I'm See, a little where it comes impartial in. to well, this. Well, let him tattoo an adult. Yeah. Well, <laughs> So I, I think they're cute. I think they're cute. I like it. Okay, I don't know. I didn't I didn't even boy in on that one. <laughs> she just don't know. She couldn't I don't know. <laughs> well, they're still so 